Welcome to Xeon's 3D Lab. I'm John Ramirez. Today we're going to be looking at assigning materials in Verge 3D and the mystery of what happens when uh, you try to uh, assign a material that's already been assigned and may not be visible in your scene, but it should actually, you would think at least, would work. So in this example that I've already set up, I'm just using some image planes and some simple image textures, which I'm sure everyone here knows how to do. And I'm trying to uh, assign them to our cube in the back. So I have currently four textures. Uh, the first one is image one, image two, image three, and obviously image four in the back. The red bar is a reset button uh, to reset this whole thing, which is the issue at hand, and we'll get to that. So if I click on image one, uh, it'll change that over to uh, our cube to image one, switching over to image two, you can click on that, and that assignment works well. And image three, you do that and everything works good. And you can see in the uh, when clicks, this is how I have the assignments. The assigned material to material image one is to cube, that's for this one here, image one, for image two or button two, we're doing material image two and we're assigning it to the cube on click. Now to reset, the reset button is reassigning material four, in material image four, to the cube. And when I click on that, nothing happens. Uh, it's just not working yet. I can still go to the others and they work just fine. So why doesn't this little red reset button work? The reason these three images work is that uh, they exist in the scene. Image one exists in the scene, image two exists in the scene. So I can go back and forth and reassign these to the cube at any time. But image four, and we'll go back here so you can see where image four was. Image four, which was originally assigned to the cube, is remapped as soon as I select one of these three images. So now, as soon as I click on image one, image four has been removed from the scene. Therefore, when I hit the reset button, like that, you can't actually get image 4 to come back because it does not exist in your scene. In Blender, uh, let's get our scene situated so we can take a look at all the textures. We need to add image 4 as a texture that's hidden from the scene. And the best place to do that is actually under the floor in this case. So let's go ahead and add a mesh plane Oh, it's up here at the cursor, so we'll move that below the floor. It doesn't have to be any scale size or anything. Any size is going to work. We'll go ahead and select it, add uh, our material image 4 to it, and we're all set. Um, that's all you have to do is make sure that image 4 is in the scene uh, after someone goes through it and clicks the other images. Image 4 will be buried there, so it can be used at the reset button. So we're going to export this back out get it uh, to a Verge 3D GLTF and we'll export that and let's go ahead and switch back to Verge. We'll go ahead and refresh and we'll go to test. We'll test one, two, three and reset. There we go and it works just fine. Everything should be good. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on the forums. I'm always there to help out. And uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you today. And we look forward to seeing you uh, next time. Uh, please uh, help me out and uh, like and subscribe. And I really appreciate that so I can keep bringing you more content.